apologize for the lighting i know it's not great but uh here's here's an update here's why you hadn't heard about this truck in a little while uh the carburetor went out on it it sat for a year i really wasn't all that concerned about it i kind of thought it would uh anyway well me being cheap i bought a 70 dollar carburetor i'd never heard of the manufacturer and it showed up and i'm like mm, this thing's this thing's pretty light Eh. And I started putting my fuel filter on, and then I realized, not only did it come broken, but it ain't even, it ain't even steel. It, it's some aluminum bull crap. Listen, if it ain't made in the USA, it ain't built right. So when I get my money back from these people, they're trying to say, tell you what, I'll give you 50% back, and you don't even have to return it. No. How about this? 100% back. I don't return this, and I think about maybe not buying from your company. Calm down. Okay, just, you know, calm right down. Anyway, so when I get my $95 carburetor for this truck that's going to be made made in the USA, and it's going to last forever, um, I actually figured out, because every new carburetor now comes with electric choke because everyone's a sissy. I actually figured out how to put manual choke back on the new carburetor. Uh, you've got to put the back plating on, plating on and I've got to remove this uh, spring and lever, but it's going to work. I just tried it out on the old carburetor, and it worked. And uh, once I... I don't know what, what I'm going to do with this one. If they want me to return it, I will. They can pay for that. They are also going to give me my 76 bucks back. So, yeah, that's it's fine. I've also been waiting outside for, for a plumber for 87 million seconds. So it's good. You know, it's sometimes you just got to take a deep breath.